star drive and the ether. When you're not a stranger to thermodynamics, you know when compressing a cylinder of air, all energy used leaks out of the cylinder as heat. You compress it and the energy used leaks out, all energy. There is no pressure energy, it doesn't exist. It has potential, but it has no pressure energy. Um, you get most of it back when it expands again. When you allow gas to expand, it will push this one back and then it cools it on and it soaks in the heat again. So it exchanges energy with the surrounding uh, air, surrounding molecules. Well, in the same way, when we move an object faster or slower, we um, exchange energy with the ether. Smaller particles, smaller than, smaller than air, and they're over everywhere, in space, on Earth, everywhere. So imagine accelerating a spacecraft. The closer it gets to light speed, the slower the upquarks turn. So it's a spacecraft and it normally turns like this, this. But the slower or the faster it goes, the more closer to light speed, the slower they turn. And that's called time dilatation. Um, what happens is this. Um, when this, this quark serves as an anchor, the axle. It wants to be in the average speed of a graviton, which is zero. But since these are standing still too at light speed, they also become anchors, uh, making the resistance very, very high. When decelerating, it starts to turn again, and it reclaims its energy from the ether. Accepting the ether as part of our reality, we click, quickly become aware exchanging mass and energy with gravitons is commonplace. Even our bodies get renewed constantly when gravitons bounce through.